harvest that he would send for labor into his harvest. Amen. I want to talk about this morning, let's go to work. Amen. Let's go to work. When I was at home, amen, when I graduated, I had two options either to go to college or go to work. Amen. These days, children don't have too many options. Uh, they want to stay at home and not go to work. Amen. They want to be on a cell phone. Amen. Still want the parents to buy them two hundred dollar shoes and clothes and no responsibilities. Amen. Today's is uh, one of the uh, world that we live in is something I've never seen in my life that. Jobs are begging That's it. That's it. people to come to work. Man. Because the harvest and is great. Jobs are great. But there's few laborers. And they are getting giving people incentives. Amen. Sign on bonus. That's it. Amen. When you get, uh, it's, you, well, you know it got bad when McDonald's are giving you sign-on bonus. <laughs> not to uh, say that McDonald's is not important, but i never seen a fast food restaurant uh, giving you, begging you and enticing you to come work for them. Amen. In these days, are seeing. Jesus wasn't begging, but he was asking, and he was looking for disciples, amen, to come and work for the kingdom of God. And some of, uh, before we got to get to the chapter, some of the workers had a lot of excuses. Amen. And Jesus, amen, is calling for laborers for the kingdom of God. He is calling for people, is willing to work and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of them had excuses, and some of them want to go bury their dead. And Jesus uh, seemed like he was not sensitive to uh, the dead, uh, the family, but Jesus' work was more important. Even you burying the dead, he said, let the dead bury the dead. All right, now. Uh, one yeah. fellow wanted to be a uh, Disciple or follower of Jesus, uh, but he said, "Well, let me go fair. I uh, say bye to my family." And Jesus said, "Man, put his hand on the plow and look it back. It's not fit for the kingdom." Yeah. He knew if he went back, he wouldn't come. He wouldn't come to follow him. Amen. Because when you look back. If so many things will pull you under, if so many uh, uh, negative things will happen, uh, if you start looking back, I knew, so you go back home, and you go and, and, and folks and say, I knew you weren't going to make it. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I, I knew you couldn't do it. Amen. So God said, don't, don't look back. Amen. And put your hands to the plow and look it back. Amen. And he said there was one 
Paul was 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 ready, amen, to to follow him. But he had some issues. Amen. A lot of us make excuses why we can't follow Jesus. Yeah. Ah, amen. Amen. Jesus said that, 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 that the harvest is great. The work is out there. Jesus was looking at the, the, the people just like the former was looking at his field. Looking at the, all the things that out there have grown up but have few, few labors. All right. Amen. Jesus is calling for labels. Mm -hmm. Amen. To work the field. Now you got to be careful. Amen. When you sign up, amen, to work for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. It's not going to be easy all the time. All right. Amen. You're not going to be perfect. Amen. You may fall sometimes. You may make a mistake. You may make a wrong decision. But God is there to pick you up. Yeah. Amen. He is. He is. He is God. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. To be a laborer with God. First you need to be born again. First you need to have God's spirit. Amen. With living inside of you. Amen. You, you, you may be talented, but, but without Jesus, you're nothing. Amen. Amen. You're talented, you're just using it for your own use. Jesus is looking for someone who will say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. I'm not, I, Lord, I, I'm not, I'm not all that, that I should be. But Lord, I, I, my heart is in the right place. My moment is in the right place. Yeah. I'm not trying to be trying to be number one when I know that you are number one. Amen. Amen. To be God's laborer. Amen. We have to do the work that He has placed in our hands to do. We can't become jealous yeah. because it seems like somebody is getting ahead of us. All right. Amen. We, we have to be humble as a dove, but wise as a serpent. Amen. We, we, we must understand who's in charge. Come on, somebody. We, we have to understand that, 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 that we don't make the sunshine the shine. We don't make the rain the rain. God is in control. Yeah. Amen. And he, when I have decided to follow Jesus, I gave him my life. It's yeah. not always clear of what I should do. And that's when I walk by faith. In order to be a laborer, amen, for Christ, we must have faith. Yeah. Amen. We, 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 every time, every, every day is not going to be clear. Amen. Every day is not is going to go our way. Yeah. You know, some people want things to go their way all the time. Amen. I'm sorry, it's not going to go your way all the time. Amen. You're working for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And whatever God say, whatever God has planned for your life that day, that's what He wants us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When I go to my job, Amen. They lay out the plan for what we got to do today. Right. That's right. Amen. If I don't do it, I don't get paid. That's it. Come on, somebody. Man. You got to understand that, 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 that God said whatever is right, I will pay. Mm -hmm. And then he don't want no coward soul. Mm -hmm. He don't want no coward worker. You can't be scared of work. Yeah. Can't be scared of persecution. You can't be scared of what folks say about you. Come on, somebody. You're working for the Lord. Amen. God said that, that, that if I'm for you, come on, somebody. Who can be against you? So he said that the harvest is great, is great. Amen. You ain't got to worry about no work. You ain't got to worry about who you're going to minister to. God has already set it up. 
Amen. Maybe, 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 maybe you be at the grocery store. Amen. Laboring. God has already predestined your path. Mm -hmm. Amen. All we have to do is have a willing heart. Amen. 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 God didn't tell us we got to be perfect. Amen. He said be willing. Amen. Amen. God is not through with us yet. Amen. He's still working on us. Amen. And he said that, that, that the labor, the, the harvest is great. Amen. It's, 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 it's enough for us. It's enough uh, ministry for us to minister to people. And he was talking about the lost. Amen. People that is lost in the dark. Amen. In the, at the crossroad, some people is 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 uh, is on the verge of commit suicide. Now, you may be the one. You may be the labor that God uses to tell them, "Don't do it. It's a better way." Come on, somebody. God said that we need to pray that He will send laborers into the harvest. We need laborers. We just can't sit here and think that everything is covered. It's going to be all right, just like folks at work. If it don't get done, well, oh well, somebody do it. God said, call us. He has, he has placed us in, in some position that only you can do. Come on, somebody. He gave you the amount of children that only you can help them. Only you can minister to. Come on, somebody. You, 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 you are a, 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 a peculiar people. Amen. You have a specific job. You have a, a, a job that God has ordained you to do, and only you can do it. It has tailor made your life. And he said that we need to pray that he will bring others that have a heart to ministry. Yeah. They have a heart to helping someone. He said because the harvest is great. One pastor says plentiful. It, 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 it needs labor, laborers. Amen. To minister, to sing, to, to pray. Amen. These, we need people that love God and love people. Amen. God said that we need to pray that he will send them. We cannot be uh, affected Christians being selfish. This is my church and I don't want nobody else being here. Come on somebody. I got mine, you get yours. Come on somebody. We have to we have to love each other. We have to help each other. And whatever God has placed in our, our hearts to do, we ought to do it. Amen. He hasn't given us anything that we cannot help. That's it. He hasn't given us burdens. Let us bear burdens, amen, that we cannot bear. Amen. God is with us. Let's go to work. What is your excuse now? Amen. Not ministering or witnessing to the laws. God has saved you from the penalty of sin. Amen. He has brought you out of the hands of the enemy. Amen. We need to go to work. We need to cry out loud. About who is in charge of the world. We need to witness that God saves. All right. Amen. He saves and he's willing to bring you out. Amen. Jesus told them, don't worry about what you don't have. <laughs> don't even worry about uh, uh, the, the, your shoes or clothes or uh, even in receiving you. Just shake the dust off your feet and keep going. Amen. Lord, times 
We get discouraged because we don't see nothing. Because it seems like the more I do, amen, the more I press down. Amen. But I remind that the more uh, someone press you down, Jesus is there to pick you up. Can I get a witness? And if he said that, 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 that they don't receive, shake the dust. Amen. And off with your feet. Amen. We need how we need labors for the harvest. Amen. Are you willing to say, Lord, here I am? Amen. Use me. Lord, if you will. Amen. Teach me how, amen, to work in your vineyard. Amen. There is someone in the valley trying to get home. The Bible said that we are the light of the world. We need to shine our light. Especially in these days. When people are giving up. People are saying that this is it. I can't take life no more. But I'm here to encourage you. Amen. As you labor. As you give. As you help. God will repay. Amen. God. Whatever he said is right. He will repay. Knowing that your labor is not in vain. Amen. He that endured to the end. Amen. And that's what God is saying today. Amen. Go to work. Don't worry about uh, your uh, provision has already been taken care of. Yeah. Amen. The business election has already been taken care of. may take a while for God to come through. He may not come when you want him to come through. All right. But he's always on time. Yes, sir. God said, I have uh, your life in my hands. Yes. Go to work. Yes, that's going to be uh, some persecution because of who you serve. Mm -hmm. Who you working for. Amen. But be a good cheer. Yes. Amen. I am with you. Even until the end. Let's go to work. Yeah. Amen. Let's hold up the blood stain back. Mm -hmm. Let's tell people God is alive. God saved. Amen. And he will deliver if you trust him. Yeah. Amen. If we trust God. Amen. 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 Don't doubt him. He will bring you out. Let's go to work. Yes. Yes. Amen. Let's go to work. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Lord, the opportunity, Lord, to serve you. Oh, yes. Yes. Lord, we thank you. Saving us first. Filling us with your spirit. Lord, we thank you for the talent and the gift that you have placed in us. And Lord, sometimes, Lord, we fall and sometimes, Lord, we make mistakes. But Lord, you dare pick us up. Sometimes our family members, Lord, won't treat us right. Yes, but Lord, we know we got you. We got everything. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for keeping.